Welcome to iVision TV. I'm your host, Katya Vital, and this is Eat to Live. Today we are outside. It is nice and chilly. We are enjoying the weather, and we're gonna do some great exercise routine. We're gonna do jumping jacks, as well as some tricep and biceps. We're gonna tighten our muscles up. Then we're gonna do a great, delicious, creamy, fruity oatmeal. So go change into your workout outfit and join me back. We'll be right back after these messages. Here we go. We're going we're gonna to make some juice. Looks good. You ready to try it? Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's OK. OK. I actually took another sip. You saw it. Search We Can for ideas on how to get healthy together. Welcome back. I hope you're ready to start on our jump and jack. Before you do that, remember to always consult your doctor before starting any exercise routine. So what is great about jumping jacks is that it's a family event. You could have your kids work out with you or your spouse or your friends and you have a great time just doing jumping jacks or jumping rope. So what we're gonna do is five sets of 10 or as many as you can. Make sure that you keep your form when you do it. Have your kids come and join along. So let's start that right now. We're gonna do five, set, five sets of 10, all right? Let's go, hands on our side, legs spread apart a little bit and let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. So our heart is pumping, we are revved up, we're a little bit out of breath. I did only three, I know you guys are counting. Um, the two, you can do it on your own, and then we're gonna move on to our next exercise, okay? Let's go ahead, the next exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna do it with a um, strength rope, and you could use your dumbbell, a can of soup, whatever that you have that's a little bit heavy. We're gonna do biceps, and then we're gonna do tricep. That's the jiggle here that you don't like wearing like short sleeve, um, tops because of that we're gonna tighten it up and you can do it anywhere at any time. Few minutes and we're gonna start that. Welcome back. We just finished doing our jumping jacks. Now we're gonna do some strength training exercise. You could do that with a dumbbell, you could do that with a strength training rope, you could do that with a can, a can of soup, you could do that with anything that has some weight to it. So we're gonna use this and um, what we're gonna do is step on it. We're gonna do triceps, and we're gonna, tricep is this, and then we're gonna do bicep, which is the, the like kind of meat behind your arm, the ones that kind of jiggle that we don't like to show sometimes. So anyways, we're gonna put our feet on there, or use your dumbbell, whatever that you have, and what we'll do is curl. The resistance is gonna make, that's what's gonna make it burn. So let's do five sets of 10, just like we did before. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You could do it until it burns. Then you know really that it's working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you're doing that, if you have short sleeve on, you can see how the muscle is contracting and releasing. So really it is working. So do 10 on each side, of course. Five sets of 10 on each side. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn to the side so the camera can kind of see. What we're gonna do is change the direction. We're gonna do, we're gonna pull. So you have a dumbbell, you're gonna pull it backward. So what it's gonna do is work all here and it could actually work. It will, you could feel some um, pull right here as well, which is your shoulder. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Five sets of 10. One, two, three, four, five, So like I said, you can do it with a dumbbell, you can do it with a can of soup, whatever that you have that kind of weighs. Um, have some weight to it, you could use that. Let's do the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even though I do ten, um, I actually feel the burn towards um, my tricep and my shoulders a little bit and my back. So these right here you can find anywhere, the dumbbells you can find anywhere. I actually got this 
at, I think it was Walmart or something like that. They're really inexpensive, five bucks. And they have different um, level and strengths. So you could get low, medium, high intensity, so that you could work on that. That is our exercise for tonight. Well, I guess it's nighttime now, we're outside, but it's awesome and it's great and it's cool. What we're gonna do is go inside and prepare our oatmeal. It's gonna be a delicious, creamy, fruity, it's gonna be filled with fiber. So go ahead and get a drink of water, meet me on the inside, and I'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back. We are about to make the ultimate creamy fruity oatmeal. Oatmeal is an excellent and healthy food to have. This recipe for the ultimate creamy oat fruity oatmeal is servings for two. Two cups of fat-free milk, it could be soy milk, it could be almond milk, whatever that is low fat. One and a half cup of old-fashioned oat uncooked, half cup of raisin prune, half a banana, one half of an um, ounce of um, sliced almond, that's optional if you like nuts, one third teaspoon of ground cinnamon, two tablespoons of flaxseed meal, one and a half teaspoon of maple syrup or brown sugar. Let's talk about the ingredients within this recipe. The milk is a given. It has calcium, which is important for your body, your bones. I, um, for the old fashioned oatmeal, I mean um, old fashioned oat meal, I prefer uh, the old fashioned because it has more nutritional value to it less processed. Raisins, prune, banana will be lo load this recipe with more fiber. The function of fiber is to keep our digestive system clean. Our digestive system play an important role in keeping us healthy. Fiber is what makes us excrete waste in our body. So less intake, less that we're going to excrete what's in our body, the food that we eat. The next thing is cinnamon. Cinnamon is a great spice to add to any savory dish. It's great for inflammation. So try that. Flax seed is gluten-free, and two tablespoons will double your fiber intake. It can be put in cold cereal, hot cereal, baked goods. Omega-3 helps protect against cancers and other sickness. This is a power food. I have it right here, and you can get whatever brand. This is a great, awesome food that you should have as a staple. The direction is, is to heat um, hot milk, and at a low temperature so it doesn't boil over, you know how milk does. Um, add some cinnamon, which I have right here, in the milk so it can kind of dissipate and dissolve. And then what you do is, to make it creamy, you just get some water and put the oatmeal in there. So while the water is actually boiling with, I mean not with the water, but the milk is, is simmering with the cinnamon, um, just take a bowl with some water in it and put the, the, the uh, oats in it. What it does is kind of loosen it up. But if you pour it directly in the pot, it kind of lumps it up. So do that and then you'll go ahead and put it in the, the, the cooking um, pot that you're using and stir it and let it kind of simmer. So it's a full of love kind of thing. Then um, once it's cooked, almost cooked, what I would do is just take some of the flex seed, which doubles or fiber intake. Um, each tablespoon is about, um, well, two um, tablespoons is four grams of fiber in it. So the oatmeal has, I think, about four grams. And then so it really doubles to eight gram, which is awesome. So I would just take two tablespoons, just put it in the pot, and um, just stir it. It doesn't really need to be cooking because this, the flax seed. Um, you could have it cold. You don't really taste it. It just kind of melts with the, the, the oatmeal itself. So anyways, so you do that. And then either way I dress it is I put the, I like sugar, not really oatmeal, I mean um, syrup. I just put the sugar on top when it's finished cooking. Or you could put it while it's cooking if you like, but I usually put it individually in there. And then I put my raisins. I like raisins and other prunes. Or you could put both, because what it's gonna do is just load your oatmeal with a lot of fiber. And then banana is a must. Banana has potassium, lots of potassium in it, which known for, to help with blood pressure. Actually, my mom used to always eat a banana and actually boil the skin, which is awesome. Makes a great tea, especially if you have blood, high blood pressure. You need to take your medicine, but it kind of naturally keeps it low. So anyways, um, what I'm doing is just cutting the banana. You could do a whole banana or a half, or I love banana myself. And then, um, that's really it. So basically, you have milk in there, you have um, a lot of fiber because of the flaxseed, you have potassium, which is banana, you have raisins, prunes, 
And if you like, put a little bit of nuts in there so it makes it a little crunchy. This is an awesome food. You could eat it for breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever you want it to be. So it's awesome. So this is it. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katya Vital and you're watching Eat to Live. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at info at iVisionTV.net. Remember, the power of living is and what we eat. A bientôt.